Hello everyone, I'm Greg Otto with FedScoop TV and we're here at the FedTalks 2015 conference and I'm here with Kyle Roche, the GM of Internet of Things for Amazon Web Services. Kyle, thanks for joining us thanks today. Thanks for having me. So you joined AWS in March and I want to know since your time aboard, how do you see Internet of Things fitting in with AWS's broader cloud vision? Sure, so I, I think it's always sort of fit in. I mean, we've had great success uh, as Amazon with uh, our products like Kinesis and Dynamo and IoT okay. already. Uh, we acquired uh, Telemetry, a company I started about four years ago, sort of give customers an easier way to get devices connected securely to the cloud. Okay. So I think it's always been part of our, our, our vision. Um, our customers have been asking for it for years. But uh, yeah, right now with AWS IoT, what launched at reInvent this year is really geared at easily and securely connecting physical connected products uh, to the Internet of Things. So. so the commercial applications for the Internet of Things, pretty self-evident. How do you see the application being used in the federal government or in the public sector? Sure, I, I think we're seeing great examples of the public sector. I've been having a lot of conversations uh, even just today okay. uh, with EPA and folks that are interested in water conservation, uh, air quality measurements, things like that. So um, transportation, security, uh, everything from buses to uh, connected fleet. So uh, lots of great examples so far. So with these different sensors, there's just a ton of data that comes in. How does AWS help enterprises sort of wrap their hands around all of the data that is coming in from these devices? Sure, I, so I think there's a you know, couple stages that we can help uh, our customers, um, both you know, connecting the, the data, really sending whatever's appropriate up to the cloud in a secure manner, analyzing all the data in real time, so uh, everything from transformations to uh, live integrations to other services, and then also securing the data at rest using uh, some of our, our, our newly launched analytics uh, like um, QuickSight to mine the okay. data, sort of visualize it. So, you know, both on the real-time side, uh, the collection, and also uh, data at rest, uh, securing and, and mining for analytics. So with the security, so. talk to me a little bit more about that because that's such a big part of what federal sure. agencies are doing. So what? how does the security work in when it comes to Internet of Things? I think uh, in, very differently than a, a human would interact with the secure side over the Internet. Okay. Uh, devices uh, can use sort of um, what, what we require is a mutual authentication. So okay. devices have a certificate-based uh, authentication scheme that identifies and secures the pipe between the cloud and the device. So both they can trust us and we can trust that that device is who he says he is. So there's a lot of new patterns that are emerging in that space, uh, ways to get uh, more security on a more constrained physical environment. So. Um, I think there's lots of innovation there too. But. Interesting, and yeah. I'm interested to see how that innovation plays out. I know this is a big, big market, so I'm eager to see how everything plays out. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for joining us. Today. Thank you. For all of our videos, you can check out our YouTube channel, and for more information, you can check out fedscoop.com. I'm Greg Otto, thanks for watching.